Good afternoon. I don't want to take too much of your time, and I will start, actually. Uh, I've been thinking about from which angle to give you information about my, my country, about the country I'm representing here, Bosnia-Herzegovina. And I decided to do it on the way that uh, we in Bosnia-Herzegovina always like to go into the past to see our future, like here in Hungary also. Uh, but uh, Atofi always like to say that uh, we have to learn from the past to have our future. But uh, uh, I would like also to maybe together to, to you, because uh, you are aware about uh, former Yugoslavia. That is a country lasted 50 years, and that all, all of us, all we are who lived in, in the former Yugoslavia, actually lived very nicely, very well, and uh, that we had uh, many things as our benefits to be the, to have citizenship of former Yugoslavia. And uh, now, uh, Bosnia Herzegovina actually uh, based on the uh, always Bosnia Herzegovina is uh, like a small small Yugoslavia. What does it mean, small Yugoslavia, and uh, how to build uh, the, the life uh, and uh, the future in Bosnia Herzegovina, based on the of the former Yugoslavia? Uh, what was uh, wrong in that, that country? That is actually my think of my way of thinking and my uh, approach to, to this this lesson. Of course, uh, uh, during this uh, this speech, I would like also to give you uh, basic information about today political situation in Bosnia Herzegovina and uh, what is the economical trend in Bosnia-Herzegovina, and uh, what is the condition sine qua non in Bosnia-Herzegovina for, for the people uh, in that very beautiful, nice country in the heart of Europe. <coughs> uh, I'm quite sure that you know, but I also wanted to uh, underline that uh, Bosnia is a country with great potential, primarily in people uh, as well as natural beauty geostrategic position, energetic, and other potential which are designed to raise this small but beautiful country this small, in the heart of Europe. And uh, we all dream about to reach the level of a developed country with healthy economy and a stable political system. Of course, that's a situation in Bosnia-Herzegovina, political, economic, is very hard, induced by some internal, internal contradiction, global economical crisis, constant political struggle, Lack of a consensus on a key direction of the de development of the country. But also there are certain external factors. First of all, the global economic crisis and natural disaster that more and more often hit the country and have a negative influence on the fragile economy. It has been happened uh, uh, two years, last year and, and the previous one. We entered the 18th year since the Dayton Peace Agreement has been signed and the process of democratization and seek of consensus in Bosnia and Herzegovina is still ongoing. Uh, war wants are not forgot, but the time flows and alerts that we should not uh, lose generation and time, that we should work together to make the future brighter and prosperous. We all hope that uh, the year of 2013 brings us better time, and when Bosnia-Herzegovina will require membership status for the European Union. I shall use this also opportunity, a chance to thank our friends in Hungary, from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, who are here today with us, uh, for the understanding that uh, Hungary shows concerning the situation in Bosnia-Herzegovina, and the help they offer us on our way to European Union integration. Uh, I have prepared here also some factor figures about the Bosnia Herzegovina, some uh, uh, basic uh, foreign policy principles, etc. But uh, I don't want to talk about that right now because you can find it also on the internet, on web pages, any others. I want, from my angle, to give you uh, to give you some information, and I will start, as I mentioned, that. Uh, Uh, Euro Atlantic integration that Bosnia Herzegovina has already acceded the Partnership for Peace in 2006 and official invited to join the action plan for the membership map was informed in April 2010. 
and provided that NATO would support the annual state program of Bosnia-Herzegovina with MAP, then the question of immovable military property will be solved. We had a yesterday very important visit in Sarajevo, in our capital, uh, where the NATO Secretary General, Mr. Andres Fok Rasmussen, paid a visit, and he had a, a bilateral meeting with all important political factors in Bosnia-Herzegovina. Uh, he thanked uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina and his counterparts for Bosnia-Herzegovina contribution, contribution to NATO mission in Afghanistan. And I would say that he leaves Sarajevo more optimistic than he came to Sarajevo and uh, stated that he is encouraged to hear that all political leaders reaffirm the commitment to the agreement on immovable defense property and their determination to implement it as soon as possible. To talk about Bosnia-Herzegovina as a multicultural, confessional, multinational country that I live in, I cannot talk and help but look back on the same country that I was born in, and I which lived in nice, very nice country of Yugoslavia. What was former Yugoslavia, also multicultural, multinational, today is Bosnia, but the concept of multinationalism and multiculturalism was not able to survive in Yugoslavia. While in Bosnia Herzegovina, still after 18 years, since the end of the war, it has not been established fully. Because of that, part of, as I already mentioned, our presentation will be on that, of the breakup of Yugoslavia, and since today, multinational Bosnia Herzegovina was, was uh, formed on foundation of disintegrated multinational Yugoslavia. And I'm sure that if we look at the problems of Yugoslavia realistically, we could develop Bosnia Herzegovina on his uh, constitutional basis potential in one new political, historical, and economical context for the welfare of all the people living in Bosnia and Herzegovina. From the way that Yugoslavia split, and in some ways still splitting, it shows that mutual relations among us were deep, multiplied, and that the good basis existed for the upgrade and organization of the country. Unfortunately, which didn't happen like in many former communist countries of Eastern Europe, while they have exist. Meanwhile, the territory of Yugoslavia was renamed into Western Balkans. I agreed with my Croatian colleagues when he uh, asked, uh, when, he, when he raised the question, where is the Eastern Balkans? Huh? But I really don't know. Which still question is in uh, history and seeks for the future in the series of complex. The search for truth concerning the cause of conflict in former Yugoslavia is ongoing and mainly to be able to build real relation. Uh, this is really a question with what kind of truth would we all agree in Bosnia, which can lead us to a better future, so that the past doesn't repeat itself. Does it exist? What are the values of the former country which can bond us in the future and which can be the basis in Bosnia? When we talk about the death of the Yugoslavia, we need to look back on its birth international context and the environment in which it was born. First Yugoslavia was formed in a period when, the, when in a few years from the world historical map and scene, four empires disappeared. Austro-Hungarian, Ottoman, Russian, and German empire. The second Yugoslavia occurs when the historical empires were replaced with ideological empires. When the world was bipolar, divided between the Eastern Bloc, which was led by the USSR, and the Western Bloc, led by the USA. USA. The third Yugoslavia is characterized by the period of birth of economy empires, globalization, and completely new modus vivendi in contemporary world. From the beginning of Yugoslavia, ongoing inter-ethnic conflicts, and it's always a shock to the country. Serbs had one and Croatians another vision of Yugoslavia. The process of consolidation of, of, of the first Yugoslavia lasted pretty long. Second Yugoslavia was federation which was maintained by ideological unity and one party system. The interest of Serbs in entering Yugoslavia was that all Serbs could finally live together in one country and Croatians that they got to save their territories from the territorial aspiration of neighboring countries. 
the main problem, especially of Second Yugoslavia, the national and problems of true federalization with the country. And the problem they started appearing when the true federalization was happening, neglecting major political, economical, national problems, which lead to the creation of critical mass and energy, which culminated and couldn't be controlled. In First Yugoslavia, com communism was banned. It appeared later and came to the power in Second Yugoslavia, where nationalism was banned, but was formed illegally. And at the end of the 80s, beginning and the 90s, it had its expansion and came to the power. In the old former Yugoslav Republic countries, especially in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Many believe that the flare-up of nationalism in former Yugoslavia occurred because of the war crimes committed in the Second World War about which the full truth never had been said. The painful, painful experience make us face with what happened in the last war in Yugoslavia that that question should not be prolonged, that the past must be cleared so that the mortgage of the past would be carried into the future to put a burden on the generation to come. Beginning of 90s, before the breakup, the crisis, the crisis in Yugoslavia culminated. Nationalism with the geo uh, geopolitical change on the world scene, demolition of the Berlin Wall, 1989, repeal of communism in the USSR, and the new historic e epoch occurred new relation, and Yugoslavia lost its geostrategic world on which it built its future. The best examples is non alien movement in those years when uh, Yugoslavia had, be, had a leading role, which overnight turned into the irre irre irrelevant political movement. A new world was formed where it was necessary to fight for a new international positions and new allies. Unfortunately, there was not any individual capacity which would recognize that moment and which would with struggle on the plan of foreign policy, international affirmation stop the disintegration of the country. How it is possible, for example, for the Soviet Union, which is an amazing mix of nations with completely different cultures, to split in a peaceful way, and for Yugoslavia, where people with close cultural tradition live to split with so much violence and war. The breakup of Yugoslavia coincides with the breakup of communism in countries of Eastern Europe. At once, the communist ideology disappeared after 15 years, 50 years, creating a gap which was to be filled. And nationalism came as an ideal way to fill the gap, since it was increasingly present and the only thing left was for it to formalize through the democratic elections in the political life of the country and the terribly ring the disappearance of Yugoslavia. We take into, into consideration also the behavior and influence of the international community, institution, organization. They understanding or misunderstanding what's happened and what's going and what will be in the future in the former Yugoslavia. The area of former Yugoslavia has been crossroads through the history of various civilization, subject of interest for East and West, and unfortunately, area of clashes of interest. The development of Yugoslavia was followed, assessed. How much of an influence can have on interest of the countries that so former Yugoslavia as the subject of their own interest? Various predictions existed concerning the future Yugoslavia, which dated from 80s, when reports from certain intelligence agencies predicted war and breakup of Yugoslavia at the beginning of 90s. I find the one report of trilateral commissioning from 1977 it was stated that due to the lack of tacit agreement between East and West about the future of Yugoslavia and because of the importance of the country for the European balance, Yugoslavia should be observed as the most explosive part of Europe. It was in 1977. For a very long time, the thesis ruled that the breakup of Yugoslavia is the consequence of international factor. But the new works indicate that the West was largely caught by the war in Yugoslavia and its breakup and that series of wrong steps 
derived from the fact. Those are, uh, believe that the war could have been avoided if West would have had a clear concept of what, what to do with Yugoslavia at the moment when the crisis began. The problem is that no consistent West policy existed. Various different views existed, but not only between the policies of the main West countries, but even between certain state policies, that was for sure that circumstance. The position of West countries on the Yugoslavian crisis should be also perce perceived in a historical context. context. It should go 150 and more years back when the issue of inheritance of Ottoman Empire arose, whose withdrawal from Balkans could be been predicted already mid-19th century. A series of international agreements, conferences starting from Berlin to Versailles, Yalta, Poznan, shows that leading European countries did not have a functional consensus in terms of solving the political status of Balkan countries. That is vis visible today also. I believe it's necessary for the European countries to come to a consensus in terms of Balkan. As for us, as for their own. So that Balkan in future doesn't produce cri uh, crises which necessarily flows to Europe. I believe that the question of the political modernization is the main question of the people that live in this area of Balkan region, from Yugoslavia states. And I'm afraid that the 20th century can be observed as lost for the South Slavic people. Science it was proved that the political idea that existed on this area wasn't correspondent with the time. We lived in some shapes of political and other utopia which could look pink at one time. We turned to the past instead of looking to the future. But that doesn't mean that each of us should give up from our national identity. On the contrary, Europe doesn't imply that because Europe itself rests of national and cultural identities. In order to see where Bosnia and Herzegovina is now, like I said in, in the introduction, we go back in the past and we find uh, almost the same to the problems Bosnia and Herzegovina is facing today, what was the problem of Yugoslavia. First of all, conflict between different ethnic groups due to the different views of the uh, common state. Future of the state and efficiency to save national interests of each constitution's nation. <laughs> Second, disagreement on the constitutional order of the country. Neglectance on solving major political, economic, national problems of the country. And then, as the last, economic crisis. Uh, last and not at least, uh, lack of function consensus of the international community in the solving political sim uh, situation. The similarity is astonishing, culturally disturbing, but it also indicates in which direction Bosnia and Herzegovina should go. Should act urgently without delay, that should not be questioned. Bosnia and Herzegovina is supposed to be a country where each individual would feel it as they own country in which all the people can achieve their goals. <clears throat> if the leaders of political parties in Bosnia and Herzegovina don't act fast in resolving important questions, Bosnia and Herzegovina risk of becoming a black hole in Western Balkans. This was mentioned in part of a resolution about the political situation on Balkan, which refers to Bosnia and Herzegovina adopted the General Assembly of the Council of Europe in October 2011. Today, a year and a half later, the situation has not changed. After a standstill in government formation, Council of the Minister, after the, the last election held in 2010, the standstill lasted for more than one year, which Bosnia and Herzegovina and Belgium beat all the records in Europe. After Office of High Representative, inability to cope in such situation, Bosnia recently got a new parliamentary majority uh, and the new hope for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Constitution and the election law of Bosnia and Herzegovina do not allow yearly election. However, at the end of the last year, positive changes which rose hope happened. The budgets for the years 2012 and 2013 had been adopted, and it had not been political agreement for the budget 2012, which is a unique case and success of parliamentary majority. The leaders of the new six in the coming period till the election in 2014 
committed on bringing constitutional provision which would secure full equality of all three nations and others, including harmonization of the Constitution with the decision of European Human Rights Court in the case Sadi Trinci, in a way which we provide an election of all legitimate representatives into the House of People and the Presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Part of the agreement is harmonization of the legislation with standards of European Union in the execution of obligations of the roadmap as well as urgently to establish a model of coordination with the European Union. A part of an agreement of the new six uh, majorities to provide implementation of already signed agreements for March last year, which referred to state and military properties, I already mentioned from the beginning of this speech. Uh, European Union stands on the common position that if Bosnia-Herzegovina in the coming period does not apply the verdict of European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg, made a few years ago, which refers to the right of others, that uh, general, the results of general election in 2014 will not be recognized by the you know, uh, European Union because European standards were not applied in that case. The current situation leaves serious consequences for the economy and countries' credit rating. In addition to that, the national disasters flooding roads, huge snowfalls have hit Bosnia-Herzegovina last year, which blocked the country and the economy. We, I have some, some uh, ec economical some data, but I, I will not uh, go through this right now, and uh, I will go to the conclusion maybe to give you more time for, for questions. But I will say uh, that economical development of Bosnia-Herzegovina due to the prolonged recession in the Eurozone, which is expected to be very harsh in the year of 2013, won't be very fast, and the negative effect of the recession is expected to hit Bosnia-Herzegovina in 2013. The World Bank, from the beginning of crisis in 2009, is trying to help the countries of West ba Balkan, which are among the most affected European countries. Financial support is increased in the regional countries as well as in consultation how to face the situation in the best way. We do not in Bosnia have control on what's happening in the Eurozone. But we could uh, help, uh, we could uh, first of all implement some reforms this year, and we should do that, which will help to recover faster and accelerate the economical growth. Those reforms, first of all, refer to decreasing financing consumption through the public expenditure. Instead, public expenditure would go towards investment in economic growth, health, and education. On another side, it's necessary to improve conditions and getting building permits to work with fashion, which investors see as an investment restriction, which would allow fast entry of investment and new money, what actually we need to come into the Bosnia-Herzegovina economy. Conclusion. Inter-ethnic conflicts exist in Bosnia-Herzegovina due to the different use of the common state. Not even one of the three constituent nations living in Bosnia-Herzegovina do not see their country in the same way, which is the main problem. The question of constitutional order, entity, voting in joint institution, Bosnia-Herzegovina administrative and territorial organization. Some want for Bosnia-Herzegovina to be a centralized country. Others want to see Bosnia decentralized. While some want to change the structure of the Dayton Peace Agreement and that Bosnia Herzegovina, instead of two, maybe have three entities. After the parliamentary election in October last year, the question of constitutional reform leads to a complete blockade and lack of consensus about the key issues on development of the state. Consensus in Bosnia and Herzegovina is the key word for the future of the country. Consensus. and substantial functional consensus of the international community of future development of Bosnia-Herzegovina also must exist. The question of centralization or decentralization of Bosnia should also be decided in democratic debates and procedure of those who it concerns, the most of the people of Bosnia-Herzegovina. Everyone else, guarantors of Dayton Peace Agreement, wide international community, should help the legitimately elected leadership to make an 
implement decision which would be the best and of interest of people living in common state. Bosnia and Herzegovina should stand its economy, that is the same economy, condition same economy, to be economically independent and self-sustaining, to use its natural, human, geographical, historical, national resources which should be its advantage, not disadvantage compared to other countries from former Yugoslavia. Bosnia and Herzegovina came to an international consensus about joining the uh, European Union and Euro-Atlantic integration. And there is an urgent need to continue with other consensuses. The European Union and Eurozone are currently in huge temptation. And 2013 will be one of the key years for the future stability and for the future of uh, European Union project. When we talk about Euro integration, we find ourselves in an interesting situation. The countries of Western Balkans, including Bosnia and Herzegovina, strive towards the European Union. At the same time, uh, um, UK uh, announced a referendum for the year of 2017 concerning the status of the UK. And also in German, uh, it was uh, recently stated that the expansion of EU on East should be stopped after the admission of Croatia which is, of course, has negative influence on, on all what we are doing towards uh, integration. But, ho however, it's important to know that the economy is the key factor for future development of Bosnia and Herzegovina towards. Receiving candidate status this year has a key influence on in further processes, since after getting the candidate status minimum six to ten years should pass before entering, and that's the period which Bosnia and Herzegovina should use to build its economic and political system. This is for its, our sake, not for the sake uh, of EU or others. But uh, once we get that aim, then we will be accept, accepted, accepted by the European Union also. Bosnia and Herzegovina should build all other European Union standards on which we are doing now. European diplomats ensure us every day that Bosnia and Herzegovina is part of Europe and that the European Union project will not be finished until Bosnia and Herzegovina and the whole region do not become full members. As an important step forward toward the uh, European Union is surely the visa liberalization for the citizens of Bosnia and Herzegovina, the advantage which citizens enjoy and show benefit of European Union process. And I will, I don't want to finish, but I have to finish. <laughs> Bosnia and Herzegovina should be a country, should be a country which everyone would, would feel as their own country, where every person, nation, will be able to reach their goals and achieve interests. It is a country with a future which has a lot of friends in the world which helped Bosnia and Herzegovina and which are ready to continue helping, like I mentioned, our friends from Hungary. Thank you very much for your attention. Everything is clear, no question. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Somebody mentioned the uh, position of Croatia, uh, people in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Actually, it was uh, in your lecture uh, before I came, and uh, what, what I, I have to, to add that is uh, for Bosnia and Herzegovina important. Uh, I would say that all three nations who, are, uh, who, who, who has recognized under the Constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina has equal rights and uh, has equal obligation. And it, without of one of that three, Bosnia and Herzegovina could not uh, exist like, like uh, under this constitutional framework. It means that we have to change our constitution. It means that we have to go through the to find out where is the consensus and. Once we reach the consensus uh, in uh, Dayton, uh, when the all about our, our, our constitution, uh, international community was present, uh, 
Now we have to pay attention on some other activities, as I mentioned in my in my lecture, that we now have to do with the economy. But uh, for the Croatian, uh, it's very important uh, the coming uh, census, which will take place in uh, October this year, because the the last census took place in 1991, and. Uh, once uh, somebody asked me what is the statistic in Bosnia and Herzegovina, how many people are living today, how could I know? Because what has happened from 1991 uh, uh, right today, and now we are expecting that election, that census to took place, take place, and uh, we feel that it will not be, I would say, uh, enough people in Bosnia and Herzegovina. I would say that that number will be decreased dramatically. But let's see, let's see what, what the results of uh, the next election will be. And this is uh, also very much important for all, all uh, constitutional nations, uh, uh, also for patients going to Bosnia and Herzegovina. That's it. If no questions. I have to leave immediately. I'm, I'm very sorry that we cannot uh, uh, talk uh, after this presentation. Maybe some, some other question appeared, but I have to go. I have to leave, uh, and maybe to see next next time. All the best.